everybody. Today, Harrison is three months old. It is January the 27th, and this little guy is officially three months old today. So when we did our pictures, we actually incorporated this sign into those pictures. So as soon as I get those pictures done, you guys will actually be able to see them. But for now, I don't have access to Photoshop at the moment, so it's going to have to wait for a little bit. How's that sign taste? Huh? How's that sign taste? I love how he just stares at the camera. So the outfit that Harrison ended up wearing for pictures today was pretty big on him. Look at the bald spot. Anyways, so the outfit I got him is a size three to six month. Um, just cause, yeah, I figure since he's three months now, eventually he'll need to grow up or get a bigger size. My hair looks horrible. I'm sorry. It went flat. Very, very, very flat. Okay, so as I was saying, the outfit that I put Harrison in today for pictures was quite large on him because um, it was a three to six and, you know, eventually he'll go into that outfit. But for now, it's quite large on him because he's actually pretty skinny for how much he weighs, which is quite shocking. Anyways, here's the outfit we ended up doing. So I put him in these cute little green, forest green pants, and then this cute little um, gray shirt from Jimboree. And when I put it on him, it was quite funny because when it was, when the elastic waistband, oh, sneezes. So when the waistband was on him, I was able to literally squeeze, squeeze that much, that much fabric on him and still had at least a good inch of space between his belly and the pair of pants. So this little guy is a skinny little dude, even though he does not look like it. For now, we'll keep him in the size zero to threes, even if they do kind of go up a little bit on his legs there, but at least everything else fits him. All of his onesies, he still has at least another inch and a half below his diaper when we uh, put them on, so. He's still got lots of growing, still in size one diapers. Hey, you talking to us? Yeah, you talking? You talking? Yeah. Yeah. All right, buddy. Should we go try to take another nap? You look like you're tired. Should we go take another nap, Mister Kit? Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Goober. Goober. So I realized I never actually did a tour of Harrison's room. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of how we have it set up. It's a little messy, so don't mind that. But he's still got a couple cute things that I want to show you guys. Cute little shelf that uh, Curtis made and I stained. My favorite part of it is the little sign right up there. And then, of course, his little feet and hands that we took imprints of after we were home for a couple days. And then there's his closet all full of his diapers and some of his clothes. Cute curtains that I found. This I actually use for um, swaddle and blanket storage. And then here's his crib. So far, he doesn't sleep in it yet, just because he's still sleeping in the pack and play in our room. And then, of course, the little sign that I ended up finding that I love. I painted this over the summer right before Harrison was born. I think it turned out really cute. I'm still working on getting a 
either a name or a uh, letter put up in the middle of the wall right there for Harrison. I still haven't quite decided what I want to do, but eventually that will come. Here's his messy, messy, messy dresser. He's got all of the stuff right here that he will need for daycare when he goes on Tuesday. And then the rest of that's just like his um, lotion and his bath caddy. These are some signs that I made back in the spring when I first found out I was pregnant. And I ended up putting those on the wall. Move this door out of the way so you guys can see that other one. So if you step back far enough, we've got three cute little arrows just sitting right there up against his wall. And then right down here, we have a cute little toy. Um, don't mind the blankets on the floor. He had a little bit of a mishap the other day, so we still haven't gotten around to cleaning them. But uh, when he gets older, that'll hold books and toys for him, just like a little toy box. And then he's got a little um, little toy yard right there that he occasionally plays with. We don't play with it much because we're downstairs more often than we are up here. But this is his room. So pretty simple. 